if you just give it a little push, it just sits there and tumbles end over end. It, it, it's not a very stable platform. Now we're going to turn it on and watch what happens. And it's got a CD in there and it's going to spin up. So while it's spinning up, it starts to rotate the opposite direction. Then once it reaches steady state motion, it just sits there. And now look, when you push on it, it's uh, spin stabilized from a gyroscope inside uh, out of the compact disc. It does have this nasty habit of oscillating like that if you push on it off axis. And we'll uh, see what happens here later trying to fix that. And there's a, another a CD player. We happen to have three of these on board. And you can see the one that's turned off just tumbles end over end. And I'll give this one a similar push. And it just sits there and, and uh, uh, holds its attitude. And it, it's amazing that a spinning CD uh, provides enough of uh, uh, enough stability to to uh, uh, show this kind of behavior. Now, being engineers up here and having three CD players with us, uh, you'll probably figure out what the next uh, thing is going to be. So now we've got a two-axis uh, gyroscopically stabilized platform here by taping two of these CDs together. And first, they're both in the off position. And we'll just show you what happens. It's, it, again, it acts like a solid body. And you just tap on a little bit outside uh, off center from its center of gravity, and it tumbles end over end. Now, now these guys are turned on. And, and look what kind of stability we have. still oscillates a little bit, but it's more stable than uh, one CD player. And you can still get these rather nasty oscillations uh, from the, the coupling of the moments from the two gyroscopes. And there's a demonstration of the, the third CD player that's turned off, and it just freely tumbles. And, and then we have the, the two that's taped together. And now, of course, since we had three of these things, the next step is to tape all three of them together at 90 degrees. And again, with all of them turned off, uh, we'll see that it just tumbles end over end. Now we have all three of them turned on. And it makes for a more stable platform. It's still not quite as stable as I would like. Uh, however, uh, I'm, I'm not complaining because it's just uh, from a spin and CD. It still has uh, some of these little oscillations, as you can see, as you're pushing on it off axis from the, the, the CG of the, of the unit. And now the idea is, well, what did we use this for? And so figured, hey, let's see if we can stabilize a flashlight with it. So you taped one of our flashlights to the thing. And if you're careful about releasing it, you can actually keep the flashlight on the spot for a while. So it, it, you can kind of make it into a third hand here. And if you just try to release a, 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 something like a flashlight without this, uh, without this a stable platform added to it, 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 it's really tough to release it without having some kind of a, a roll yard pitch moment. And now we're going to demonstrate uh, the utility of having this stabilized flashlight with using your CD player because you can listen to music, take your your a drill driver and your flashlight. And you can start doing repair work.
And that's it for uh, Saturday Morning Science.